Hello guys and welcome back to FIFA 20. Today we're going to give uh, career mode a run. So this is my first time actually loading into career mode within FIFA 20. Um, obviously um, I'm an Aston Villa fan for my sins. So <clears throat> what are we doing? Selecting a manager. Oh okay. Let's have a look here. Okay is that They've got females in it as managers as well. That's sick. Okay. Who shall we go for? I'm guessing we're going to be able to edit. I think I'm going to go for this guy in the suit. Okay, here we go. So. Let's do it on the keyboard. It means we've got it here. That's a lot easier than doing it on the freaking... Oh! didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Sometimes you accidentally hit buttons when switching between the two, obviously. Let's do that. English. Okay, let's do some edits here. Oh god, it's just the same as the uh, character creation for pro clubs. Oh my god, there's some horrible faces. Holy shit. Let's go with that one. Tone and complexion. Probably want to go, wow, that's darker. We want to go lighter. There we go. Let's put my phone on vibrate. There we go. Okay, so tones and complexion. Eyes. Do we want to go for more like. Mate, how can the shape of the eyelid and like around there change the makeup of your face so badly? Let's go for maybe that one. Cool. No, here. Select. Okay, it's done it right. Okay, sweet. Brows. Man, really? Really? I think it's going to have to be those ones. Next. Le nose. Uh. Oh, Christ. That one will do. Thanks for joining us, guys. Wow. Yeah, Jamie, every Friday now, brother. Hi, uh, hi, Jackie as well. How's it going, brother? Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, Jamie, every Friday now, man. Unless we're called in, obviously, but yeah. Thought I'd, I was just going to play some head-to-head, -head, and then I thought, nah, fuck it. Let's do some career mode. Let's see, uh, let's see what it has to offer this year. Oh, that's good. Okay, here we go. Chin. Chinny, chin, chin. Why don't they have the book? There we go. Sweet. Okay. Good. No, they're horrible. Christ. Whoops. Who would have thought you could mess it up so badly, James? Here we go. Ears. I wanted to rotate. There we go. I've got to admit, the haircut I'm not a fan of. That one will do the job. Okay. Uh, hair. Oh, damn, you can put hats. Oh, my God. Peaky blinders. Oh yeah, Jamie, definitely doing some Apex. Man, you even allowed to? Oh my lord. This could be, this could be quite... Fucking bubble hat at the sidelines, good. Goods? What am I on about? <laughs> Let's sort his hair out first. Uh... Let's find my old hair before I decided to shave it off. Uh, let's see. That one could work. Yeah, that one will do the job. Let's go for black or... Has... That'll do the job. Okay, so we've got hair. Now facial hair. Oh, what happened? Oh, I need to press back. I think that's the one I used for my pro. Should we find like... That one's pretty cool. 
The character actually looks like Dappy from N Dubs, if you know who N Dubs are. Right there with that awful chin strap. I think we go for this one. Colour black, yep, sweet. And outfits. Let's see what we've got. Oh damn! Finally. They've got like all Wow, this is the most depth they've gone into with managers for sure. Pink one. What do you mean? There's okay. White t shirt, black t shirt. Um Oh maybe we go for the the buttoned up one. That one. Because it's like villa colours. Or open. Yeah, gangster, okay. Out of top. That's pretty cool. No, I think we want we want one with the badge on, I reckon. Which other ones have the badge on? That one's done up. Is there any others with the badge on other than the two we've just seen? A club tracksuit? I mean, what sort of tramp do you take me for? No, I'm kidding. I think we go open and then maybe a tie. Out of bottom? Oh, this would be hilarious. Wearing trackies with a suit top. Uh, dude, um, we want to do... Black casual, royal blue. Mate, this looks awful. This outfit just looks awful. Let me see myself. No, no, no. This is, I look like a twat. I look like a dickhead. Right, let's have a look. Why? I want to go back to the trousers. I need... I need a different jacket top then, don't I? Because this just is not working right now. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That works. Okay, oh, we can wear a tie with this one. Um, that looks awful with the red. I mean, I look like a knobhead with a tie. Mate, I look like an absolute clown. What's new, Jackie? Am I right? Haha, <laughs> good one. Uh, do I want a tie? No, it looks better without the tie. What footwear do we want? Oh, socks? Okay, we can't really see them, so, I mean, who cares? Black ones. And then let's go for shoes. Mate, this is cool. Oh gosh, um, I want to go to shoes, man. Um, maybe the tan ones? I mean, I'm not a style icon, as you've probably worked out. What else have they got here? Could go with the, the brown shoes would work, wouldn't they? Probably go for more of a tan. There we go. Or oh, grey? Does grey work? No, the brown for sure. I'm still thinking that jacket's a bit risky. Why am I doing this on a football game? Christ. Um, does that work? That works, dude. Okay, we're in. Okay, we're going as Villa. Brand exposure high. Financial low. Okay, that's fine. We've got 44 million transfer budget to improve the starting squad. I'm just reading the history here. They've been crowned champions seven times and have won the domestic cup on seven occasions. Aston Villa became the second team ever to win the double when they won the first division and the FA Cup in 1897. They won the UEFA Champions League, as it weren't known then. It was known as the European Cup, I believe. 1982, after defeating Bayern Munich in the final played in Rotterdam. So it's worth an estimated $453 million with $44 million. I don't want it in dollars, but sure. Okay, so we'll go in as Villa. We'll advance through with them. 
we want our currency in sterling of course the only currency we'll have it on world class we'll have the european uh transfer window in and out okay this is good right here we go surprising with the number of names we mentioned it came as a bit of a surprise when aston villa announced jay matthews as their new manager the club said that on oh god good villa career oh god manager aston vanilla whoops Okay, uh, pre-season tournament. You've been invited to participate in pre-season friendly tournament. This is a great opportunity to get to know all of the players in your squad, experiment with different tactics, and get the team ready for the upcoming season. There is also prize money for doing well in the tournament. We'll go for that one with the better teams. Okay, let's go to the office first. We've got messages. Quickly read through these. Oh gosh, what's going on? Let me tab out and back in. Let me see if that works. Oh, great. Let's go back. Let's try again. What the hell is going on here? I think I know what's going on. There we go. There we go. It was my mouse bloody glitching it. Okay, let's go down to the 30th of the 6th. So, oh, gosh. What did that even say? Tell you price. One of your scouts just want to say hello. The scouts count you. T top scouting by region. Player specific. Okay. So, um, he's already scouted 10 players. Oh, I don't like this way of... It's okay. Right, okay, cool. Oh, uh, Nicotia, he's at Leeds on loan from Arsenal, right? Yeah, there we go, good. Okay, sweet. So, he's scout in Germany. He's scout in Spain. He's available. So, let's go to... I'm going to send him to uh, Norway, Jamie. There we go. Let's send him to Norway. And it doesn't say what he's going to scout for, but sure. Okay, we're going to... Oh, look at that. He's Danish and scouting in Norway. Good. All right, so we're looking for a striker. First team quality, free kick specialist, pacey and prolific. Those are the sort of players we're looking for. Let's also look for a... Let's have a look for a attacking midfielder. And we want them to be attack-minded. And we want them to be a dribbler, not in that sort of way. And a distant shooter, first team quality. And a playmaker. One more. Uh, let's go for promising. And we want them to be under 25 years old. Let's do that. That's sweet. Okay, so those are the sort of players they're going to be looking for when they're scouting. Taylor Price since his first report. Yeah, we already know that. Let's delete that message. We already checked that out. Um, okay. So, expanding the brand and popularity. Um, how well done for Youth Academy? Bringing young talent. Probably from sales, homegrown players. Okay, so we need to get a uh, scout for... I shouldn't have deleted that good. Transfer markets open. Shirt sales. We need, we've need. we set a goal to earn 22.5 million. Okay. European International Cup, we've got um, Borussia Mönchengladbach, FC Augsburg, and Ibar. Okay, sweet. Scout en route, that's that guy going to... Okay, sweet. Okay, let's get a youth... Where's my youth one now? Youth staff, here we go. So we're going to hire a youth academy. How much money have we got? 35 million. So he's the best guy. From Norway, Thor Anderson. Nice, uh, stereotypical Norwegian name there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hire Thor and set up a scouting network and let's send him to, well we've already got a scout over in Norway, I'm going to send a, we want, uh, who am I going to probably be in charge of, England, let's go to England, let's go for three months and we're looking for a attacker gonna cost me 120 G's let's look there okay sweet and I'm gonna hire another scout five and four star let's hire him I know I'm going into my budget here but I'm building for the future you know Cameron Davis set up a scouting network and let's look for a young uh, Brazilian and for three months and playmaker sweet we'll just go with two young scouts for now <laughs> You'll be waiting for him at the airport. Nice one, Jamie. 
Good. Okay, we've got two more messages here. Okay, they've been sent out to their respective places for three months. They'll get back to us with their reports and see if we want to scout them. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at the squad. So, decent. All right, we don't need to read that. I know what I'm doing. So, we've got Algarzi, Wesley, uh, Trezeguet, McGinn, Hurahan, Grealish. See, I'm going to do this already. I'm going to do that. Mings is only 74 rated. Get in the bin. Mings is class. Okay, right. Chester for concert, Kalinich for steer, Gilbert for target, Nakamba's class for Lansbury. Anybody else we've got here? We need to sign another striker, I think, as a back. We'll probably look for a youth striker. So Al Mohammadi out for Gilbert. See, Nakamba is rated class. I'm gonna get Matt Target in at left back for Neil Taylor. Who else do we have? Uh, Nakamba. Maybe. Do you know what I might do? I think I'm going to change the formation. I think I'm going to go 4 2 3 1. I'm going to push uh, Trezeguet to the. Whoops. Don't mean to do that. Trezeguet is going to go left wing. I'm going to drop El Ghazi. I'm going to throw on Nakamba. I'm going to put McGinn behind the striker and Greedish on the right wing. Because he's got enough, what sort of speed? Oh, it's sprint speed 72, sprint speed 74. Okay, cool. So the question is, no, I think I'm going to go with that. Is he right-footed? He's right-footed. He's perfect. Here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking potentially we look at signing, a, how old is he, 21? We look at signing a right-winger with pace. And then we could move McGinn down to hit. But Douglas Luiz is 21, man. This is a good team. I'm not unhappy with this. I know we just signed him in preseason. And we signed him. So I don't know. Like, what position would you guys like to see me strengthen? We've got a little bit of money. We've got about 30 million. So that's probably two decent rated players. 15 million each. I probably want to offload some of the older boys. And loan out some of the youngers. So we'll save that there. We'll go to the um, transfer hub, is it? Oh gosh, now I've got to try and remember. I think it's in squad. Club squad. Squad hub, what's this? Okay, this is what we want. So let's go to stats, attributes, financial, age. Sort, sort. Tom Heaton's the oldest. Elmo is my backup right back. Neil Taylor's my backup left back. James Chester, we've probably got enough cover centre-back. I'm going to put him up for sale. Don't care. Um, let's see who else. Kodja, we could probably use as keeping as our secondary striker. Just having a look here. Lansbury, don't care for. Um, Hogan's on loan. Steer's only 26. All oh, the rest are young. Villa done a good job. So let's go back to the top. Let's see what youth players we've got who aren't out on loan. Let's l add to the loan list, add to the loan list, add to the loan list. So these guys will potentially get offers to be loaned out. There's no point in them being here. They're not really going to play in regards to getting actually in the team. So, Callum O'Hare. I thought he was loaned out to Coventry, but they must not have added that one in. Concer, I'll keep Suleiman. Add to loan list. Let's go back to stats. Status. Let's go back to overall. Let's see who I wouldn't have added to the loan list. Loan listed, loan listed. Contract expiring in 12 months. Contract expiring in less than 12 months. So yeah, I could offer these people. James Breeze out on loan. Keenan Davis. We'll keep him. Tishy Bowler. Add to loan list. No, do you know what? I don't like him. Remove from loan list. Add to transfer list. Courtney Hawes will keep. Ezra Console will keep. Okay, the rest of them will keep. Right. Okay, so we've added. Let's have a look here at the. Um, let's have a look here. Moise Keane's good. Callum Wilson's good. He's fast, man. Very fast. Alexander Lacazette worth 41 million. Okay. So we're probably going to have to wait and see what some of our scouts come back with. Um, training, here we go. 
Let's quickly add some people to try. So Wesley's only 22. Let's go with the suggested ones. Adept attacking scenarios. So you can add these players. It just helps improve their stats. Yeah, you go through the squad and who else is it? I like to always build up the youngsters. Douglas Luis. I like to always go for the guys that have got the more growth potential. Grealish. And let's have a look at a centre back. Young defender. Kontz is 21. Horse is 23. I'm going to go with Kontz. And give him that one. And then you go simulate. Or you can do them. Or you can actually do the, the training ones. But I find it's just easier to just do that. Okay. So we'll hit advance now. And then it will get us to that first game. Oh, we've got lots of messages coming in here. Lots of play. Oh, we had a Neil Taylor. 1.3 million from Sasulo. I'll come back to this. Let me just see what my squad's saying. Because I've got Matt Target. Elmo can play both sides. Concer, I think, can also... Uh, maybe not. Courtney Horse can play left back, and he's a 68 rated, and he's 23. Neil Taylor's 70 rated. How much is he worth? That's the question. How? I know you have your reasons for this. Hey, Gaffer, I wanted to say that was a bit of a surprise. Okay, it's just... People... Okay, sweet. Oh, you can reply to them? Damn. Thanks, boss. Think of me. Damn. Oh, well, a pigeon just smashed into my back window. Holy shit. There we go. Okay, so we've replied to all of them. It's okay, girl. It's just a pigeon. Don't worry. Okay, so. I've noticed that for the upcoming match against Augsburg, your choice of captain is lacking the leadership trait. Might I suggest that you name James Chester instead, as his leadership skills will have a beneficial impact over his teammates. Ha! Huh. Go away, assistant manager. You know nothing. Jon Snow. Um, I think, how much is he worth? So he's worth 1.3, and they've offered 1.35. Okay, so this is you can negotiate with them. But what I like to do is, is uh, show actions, delegate, start the offer at 2 million, don't sell the player for less than 1.35, okay. And what you do is, the assistant manager will just take care of it now, so you set the boundaries of where you want to be between um, on the negotiating table, and that's it. Okay, so we'll leave the assistant up to that now, and then we'll come back. And then we'll... Oh, well, look. We're into the next game. Let's just do a quick save here in case uh, the game crashes for whatever reason. And then we'll play against Augsburg. This could be interesting. We'll go in our classic claret and blue uh, strip here. Put them in their white and green. And we'll start with that. I'm interested to see how this does. Because normally, you know, Villa play with a 4-3-3. Greedish, McGinn, Horahan. Completely switch it up. Put the two new sign-ins from the summer. Um, in the holding midfield roles because that's they've got quality from there. Got the two new wing backs, Gilbert Target, Engels is new, Heaton's new, Trezeguet is new, Wesley's new. The only players that have come up from last season with this team would be Grealish, McGinn, and Mings, who we had on loan. All the rest are new players for the start of the Premier League season. So um, let's see how this team get on now. Oh gosh, what have I got to do? Oh damn. Uh oh, this is an interesting skill game. Okay. Oh, so what you're doing is... I can press start now, by the way, but just doing this skill game very quickly. Interesting. Uh oh Oh, the circle's going to start... What is this, Apex? The circle's closing in. Uh oh Ah! Ah, damn it. That's hard. They start putting them closer and closer to the edge. Okay, cool. Get a little insight into the skill. Oh, damn. Look at all the shit on the pitch. Hello and welcome to the Zignal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And we have pre-season group stage action from the European here we go. International Cup coming up for you. It's Aston Villa up against Augsburg. 
Yeah, first game of their pre-season. Time to dust off those cobwebs and start getting the fitness back, Derek. Wouldn't be surprised oh, good. to see the manager give some of the young Get players into them. a ride out too. I'm playing on a pretty reasonable difficulty, team. I would say. So this could be quite the challenge. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Go on the overlap. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. And he's made headway. Oh, he's missed it anyway. Awful finish. Was that Wes? That weren't Wesley. Who was that? Was that Nick Campbell all the way up there? The hell? A sloppy pass. They didn't give Mings his classic haircut. I think that's the import from FIFA 19 that they've used. Here we go. Go on, Wesley, you beast. Oh, he's like the, the striker is literally the second strongest player in the game. There's only one player stronger, and that's Akin Fenwa. If you don't know who Akin Fenwa is, it's spout how it sounds. Google Akin Fenwa. You'll, you'll, you won't be disappointed. He's an absolute monster. Like, he's a physical specimen. Wesley's just a good footballer with good like hold up play strength, whereas Akinfen will just like clearly spends more job time in the gym than on the training pitch. Oh good, good touch there from Grealish. And that was a very fine read. Individual quality coming to the fore. Damn, he still got it. Good. Oh god, this is a poor start from me. I need to get um, a little bit more accurate with my passing. If you didn't see also yesterday, I started a uh, Pro Clubs series with my friend uh, Razum. So if you haven't already seen that, you can go ahead to my YouTube and uh, check that out. It's youtube.com forward slash J to the M if you want to check out the Pro Clubs action and what's different this season in Pro Clubs. It's also on Twitch here if you click onto my channel. It should be backloaded into the uh, library there. Oh man, why haven't I got overlapping runners? Where's Gilbert? Okay, I need to change my tactics up here in a moment because there's nobody overlapping. And Gil that's Gilbert's strength. Absolutely. I haven't really seen that much of Matt Target. He's already, uh, you know, he played part of a game for Villa in the Cup and uh, picked up an injury already. So, yeah, I'm not sure what standard we're expecting from him. Uh oh. Oh, greedish man, that ball control is awful. Carlos Grueso. High road kill. Thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, what's your uh, baseball team then? I'm kind of like a, like I follow the Jays, kinda. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. One nil. Aston Villa. John McGinn. Oh, good to see they used the generic model for John McGinn instead of actually going and getting a body image of him. It doesn't look nothing like him. Well, actually, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, they've used a generic model. Lol. Did Akin Fenwell play for AFC Wimbledon? He did, Shems. I, I believe at one point he did play for Wimbledon. He's probably playing in like the fifth tier of English football right now. But the guy is just an absolute monstrosity, like, just to look at. He's done videos with people like KSI and shit, like, doing strength challenge videos. So he sort of eclipses the sport a little bit. He's known more for his physical um, abilities off the pitch, I would say, than on the pitch. He's never been the greatest footballer, if I'm being completely honest, you know. It's all good being able to uh, deadlift and... and uh, have a huge bench press, but if you're not scoring goals as a striker, then how effective really is that strength? Or if you're not assisting, like, I don't know, to be honest, any game that I've seen him playing, his highlights, they're not really highlights, it's just him sort of trying to shove somebody off the ball and then them outpacing him. Here we go. Here we go. I'll take the free kick, bro. Um, yeah, that's why he sounded familiar. Oh, St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, cool road kill. Yeah, that's why he sounded familiar. I used to follow them for about three to four years ago. Yeah, so I don't know if you know, Wimbledon used to be a huge team um, back in the day. There was really rough. They had players like Vinnie Jones um, and, and, you know, pretty rough players. They were notorious for being um, a very dirty team. But what ended up happening is that they uh, ended up going into administration 
Um, they renamed as a team called MK Dons, which are still around now. I think they're in League One, possibly, um, which is the third tier of English football. And uh, AFC Wimbledon was actually born out of the fans who didn't want it. You know, Wimbledon was located in London and MK Dons, you know, is Milton Keynes. So that's like quite far away. So what ended up happening was a group ended up forming um, AFC Wimbledon to try and, um, you know, rebuild the club with the with the origins of, you know, the original Wimbledon team. Ah, oh, shit. Grealish. Oh. Ah, oh, it's awful. Come on. On another note, Yarl's new Tahoe for PD is sexy. <laughs> I haven't actually got into server um, and tested it yet as such. But I'm going to attempt to today, I believe. Either we're not. Uh, I'll read that in a second, Jamie. I'll just defend this. I don't know if I've even. Oh, good. Here we go. That's good play. It's good play. It's good play. Oh, what a tackle! What a tackle. That'll do. I'm not unhappy with Aston what I'm seeing so far. Totally Look at the possession. Uh-oh. That's a foul. Whoops. Oh, he's brought it back for that. Here we go. Yeah, there was, if not still, if mostly funded by the fans. John Green is one of their biggest supporters. Who's that, Jamie? Who's John Green? Oh, I fouled him. That was a horrible foul. Took him the fucking taken. I have took the cup holder out of my desk there, whoops. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that book and the movie. I didn't know he was a fan of AFC Wimbledon. What do you know? Learn something new every day. And Paper Towns. I haven't heard of that one. I heard of the first book you mentioned. So there we go. First half. Is that supposed? Was that supposed to be Greedish? Please don't tell me that was supposed to be Greedish with that headband because that looked nothing like him. They've took the. They've actually got a player model for Wesley and not Greedish. Are you kidding me right now? So far. Okay, good and first half. We're one nil up. We need to build on that. Oh shit! Shit! Yes, we'll have a bit of that. I played FIFA 19. I played like twice, but no much law. Not much, I'm guessing. I was just kicking. Have was downfield and giving the ball away. Yeah, like the best thing you can do with FIFA to just uh, understand the tactics and stuff is watch a couple of people who have obviously played FIFA for a long time. I'm not saying I'm good, but I've played a lot of FIFA. So watching sort of the tactics and the style of play of how experienced people play will help you understand uh, how things work a little bit better. Oh, what an awful shot. Mate, that doesn't look like Wesley now. It does from far away, but... Oh. I mean, have they got any players on this team that actually look like Villa players? Shit. Tyron Ming's actually has got a player model, but it's not got the right hair anymore. Shit. Keeper, 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 keeper. Go, 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 quick. Tom Heaton will look like him. He's a pretty um, experienced Premier League player. That's my goalkeeper. Go. Who's this? Is this Trezeguet? Oh, he's rapid. He's rapid. He's rapid. No, I should have shot. What a moron. I love the FIFA games. I only got FIFA 18 on PC. Mainly for the World Cup. Yeah, man. It's, uh, FIFA games are fun. Especially if you've, like I say, if you've played a lot of them. And you're fairly competent with uh, knowing what to do. Hold up play. Hold up play. Oh, greedish, man. Come on. One of these has got to go through. Okay, it's needy the hour mark. So once we get near that hour mark, always look to make a couple of subs because, you know, some of you guys in your team lack stamina. So it's always good to make uh, substitutes because the stamina levels, you recover a little bit in between games, but if it's a short break, your stamina levels are still very much affected. Less time between games, uh, more so your stamina reflects what you finished a game with or the prior game with, should I say. So. 
Yep, it's always good to make these changes. And it helps with injuries as well. If you rest players and get other players involved, you know, it helps with morale as well. The higher the morale of the team, the better the performance is. Oh, that'll do. My ball, my ball. Well played. And it's all, you know, a lot of the time with these uh, matches, all these little short pass, all these little short passes are wearing your opposition out while they're chasing the game. So they're having to close down the space, use their sprint and stuff. Here we go. Oh, what a goal! Thank you for the host, Raisin93. Hoping we'll see you later, brother, for some pro clubs again. I can't believe I've scored that, to be honest. What an awful angle. Shit goalkeeping. Okay, let's make a quick sub. We didn't bloody end up tactics. Uh, we need rolls. And we just need to add in... Whoops. What the hell is going on here? What's it doing? Um, I'm not actually sure what's going on here. Why wouldn't it let me... Let's try and make the subs. Okay, um... Who's the most tired? Let's bring on El Ghazi for Trezeguet. I know he just scored, but yeah, let's keep him fresh. We'll go with Hurahan for... Uh, let's see. Hurahan for Nakamba. We're going to bring Greedish inside. And we'll put Kodra out on the right and bring McGinn off. That'll do the job, I reckon. Roadkill, thank you for the host. Oh, good. There it is. Okay, so we're 2 0 up here. We just scored. It's going to be the last action he gets. So, this is the first match of pre season here. Go, Wes. Big Wes. Big Wes. Big Wes. Oh, I'll keep it in. And a little dink. Little dink. No, Greedish. No. Codger. Oh, what a block. How the shit didn't I get that one in? Gosh. Yeah, I wish. I wish to, maybe tomorrow for that, Justin. Maybe tomorrow. Well, Derek, the stats don't lie. Chance after chance, they played really, really well. They've really got this. Overhead. Oh, I was hoping for over scissor kick then. God damn it. We're playing good now. That's a shit throw there. Jinxed it. Close. What the hell? My controller disconnected. Good. That was a problem last night as well. Maybe I need to buy a wireless controller. Um, let's see if it will let me do those roll tactics now. Why isn't it letting me? It's actually like selecting onto players. I don't get what it's doing. I normally... Oh, you moron. That's why, you dick. You were on rolls, not instructions. Attacking runs. Join the attack. Run type. Inverted. Overlap. Okay. Um, join the attack. And overlap. Sweet. Okay. So those guys, now when we've got it in those wing positions, targets and the uh, gill bears, get into a net. Get into him. Yes, here we go, here we go. That's a shit pass. Oh, I've got it though. Get it! Yes! 3 0. Come on. Big Wes getting the goal. Sweet. Let's go. The first header was straight down his throat. Fuck. I need to get better with that. That's good though. Get Wes off the mark. Doesn't look too bad for us so far. 3 0. First game. Low fitness at the moment. Got to build that up. Get our match fitness a bit more sharp. I'm thinking. I don't know what position to sign. I mean, my left back is only a 72 rated, but he's fairly young. Um, I like my centre backs. I don't know where to strengthen. It's hard. I know I can strengthen, but I don't know which players I want to displace, if I'm being brutally honest. 
I'm thinking maybe just sign youth and then have them as like alternates. That's a good ball. Oh no, what a block! Are you kidding me? What a frigging block that was. He's driven in the corner. Is he able to dispatch it? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Breaking at pace. Oh dear. What the hell was that? Will Please run out. Oh my god, I got away with that one. Are you playing Call of Duty as well? I am not playing Call of Duty, unfortunately. Um Jack Grealish. I haven't had a Call of Duty in a while. I think the last one I had was Black Ops 3 maybe. It's with El Ghazi. Will he play it in? Here we go. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Just so you know, Douglas Luiz has got a rocket on him. So sometimes I will shoot at range with him. He's a bit of a badass. And he's fired over the corner. The finish of boiling the opposition by whatever means. Gilbert. It's with Douglas Luiz. It's with El Ghazi. Douglas Luiz. A glorious chance. Oh, yes. Grealish. That's why I moved him into the centre. Yeah, it doesn't look... It looks a little bit like Grealish. God, they could have improved. Let me rephrase. Will you play the new Call of Duty? Um, who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll see, Ray. We'll see. It's a massive lead. It's very hard to imagine them losing it now. I'm not sure. I'm probably... So... It's probably going to be FIFA, DOJ, um, Fast and Furious, and then Star Wars comes out in November. Uh, probably Apex as well, still obviously. So th those are probably the titles I'm going to be playing for the or streaming, should I say, for the uh, next few months. Oh, is that heavy? No, it's good. With El Ghazi. Anwar El Ghazi. Reverse ball. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, El Ghazi. Get it. Oh, my Lord. They've had a spank in here. Even Jonathan Codgers scored. Fuck. That's good. Okay, I'm thinking, yeah, we go for a youngster. We look for, we look for a good young striker. I'm not too sure who we saw, and that's the thing. Because Wesley's a good young striker, so that's good. That's a good friggin' first win. And trust me, it's going to get a lot harder. In pre-season, the teams don't really play too well against you. Let's see what the office is saying. Oh, a loan offer for Nyland. Fiorentina, one-year loan? Fuck yeah. How old is he, 28? Accept. He's gone. See ya, fella. Okay. So I'm thinking transfers and we want young, not, whoa, he's 19. We want a really young striker who's good. Um, Simmons from Accrington. Dicko is 20, Cam Wilson's 27, god damn it. Who do we sign? That's the real question. Luka Jovic is at Real. We could try and loan somebody. There are too many good titles coming out this fall. You're correct. I mean, it's autumn, not fall. But yeah, I know what you mean there, Justin. <laughs> okay, so. Let me have a quick think about this one. Best Young Strikers FIFA 20. Let's have a look. Davinson Sanchez. Wait, that's not a striker. Davinson Sanchez, isn't he the one who... That's centre backs. I don't want centre backs. I want strikers. Here we go. Let's have a look at this article real quickly. So, Donnarumma is the best goalkeeper. But we're good for goal. I mean, we could sign a young goalkeeper, really, right? Adam Lafont at Fiorentina is worth thirteen point two million. Lunin from Real Madrid. 9.7 million. I think we sign him. Oh, thank you for the follow. Mr. Yo-Yo, welcome. Okay, so I think we go after Lunin from Real Madrid. He's got a good high potential. Let's have a look how much they want. I'm not sure if they just signed him. That's the only problem. Let's have a look. Lunin. 
Age 20. Is he on loan at Real Valladolid? Oh, he is. God. Good. Good to know. Wait, can we make an offer for him? Shortlifting. Let's scout him. Shortlist him in transfer. We'll sign him at a later date. Is Adam Lafont available? That's the real question. Because I'm pretty sure... Lafont. We oui, we oui. Okay. Alban Lafont. Is he on loan at Lant? Fucking all these big teams loaning out their young goalkeepers, man. Okay, who else we got? Donnarumma's worth 35 million. Get in the bin. Um, Diogo Costa at Porto. 2.8 million. Ha, huh, let's have a look at him. Dio, that's Diego. We want Diogo. 19 years old. He's at Porto. He's showing great potential. Shortlist and viewing transfer hub. Okay. He's worth 2.8 million according to this. Approach to buy. Let's see. Maybe we offer a swap as part of... What's the lag saying though? I scrolled forever to find a career mode stream. What's up everyone? So FIFA is a good site to find players. Yeah, thank you. Ford is not wrong, right? Just more of the American way. Definitely. Okay, so if you don't mind me start with initial offer. Let's see. Should we offer a player swap and see what the, if they want? Let's offer him a goalkeeper. Let's offer them... Kalinic is worth a bit. What about Jed Steer? Would they be interested? Let's see if they'd be interested in Jed Steer plus cash. Be pretty cool if we had some. Uh, listen, we're considering swap for Costa, but we're looking to bring in a midfielder, a fullback, or a striker. Okay. Okay, so a midfielder, a fullback, or a striker. Let's see what we got here. So, um, I'll throw another position. Fullback, midfielder, striker. What have we got in abundance? Probably midfielders. Um, what about. Let's have a look. What was he worth? We want to get rid of Henry Lansbury, right? Let me see if there's anybody. That's pretty tissue bowler. Let's see. I wanted rid of tissue bowler. Let's see if they'll. Let's see if they're interested in tissue bowler plus cash. Um, I admit that I was wrong calling a player long though. <laughs> you was. You meant tall, bro. <laughs> you meant tall yesterday. Not. Listen, we can't let Costa go. We aren't interested in tissue bowler, but we are looking. Pretty... Okay, let's go for another midfielder. Let's offer him Henry Lansbury. He's much more highly rated. Okay, offer other player, and let's try with Henry Lansbury. Let's see if they're interested in him. This is why you negotiate. If you can get rid of some of your players you don't want, and then a little bit of cash. We know this guy's worth, what did I say, 2.8 million? 2.8 million. Listen, we can't get, uh, we're not, we aren't interested in Lansbury. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we know he's worth 2.8 million, so, okay. Um... Off that other player. Who have we got that's better than... I don't want to offer Hurahan. I'm not offering any of those guys. Offer another position. Fullbacks. Okay, so we don't want to get rid of target. What about... Oh, God. We've already off... Uh, they're not going to want either of them. Strikers. Keenan Davis is 21. 850 grand. Shit. Um, we need Kodge. Okay, let's just go for cash. Transfer fee. Let's go for... Well, we tried... We, you know, we, we um, tried every resource. So we went down every avenue. Let's go advance and add a sell-on clause. We'll give them a 18% sell-on clause. Submit offer. Let's see. Okay, let's see what they say about that. Oh, you can pause that shit? I didn't know that. Oh, hold to skip. We're getting closer, but that offer is slightly below what we're willing to accept. We'll let Costa go for four million, but we cannot we cannot agree to a sell-on clause. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so four million. Do you know what? I think that's reasonable because we know he's going to be like a really highly rated keeper. Let's accept. That's fine. Four million's fine. He's worth two point eight million. We know he's going to come good. So we can get rid of one of our other keepers now. We'll sell them. We can get rid of like Kalinic or somebody. 
So now we need to negotiate. I'm going to delegate the negotiation. Um, do you know what? Let's negotiate just so you guys can see what it is. So ne negotiating wages and shit now. My guy looks like an asshole. Right, let's skip. Not to be sitting on the bench. Uh, and we'll get enough playing time in matches that are not critical. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I'll play in all the squad roles. Sporadic. Perfect. Okay, he wants a five-year contract. Accept. I'm happy with that. My client isn't considering adding a release clause. We're assuming that suits you. Absolutely suits me. Because then I can deny and get it to what I want. Okay, and his wages. Oh, here we go. This is fun. He hasn't... Okay, let's think. How much have we got in the wage budget? 248 grand. Okay, let's start low. He's 19 years old. Let's offer him 15 grand a week. Let's see what he counters with. If he accepts that, I'll be very shocked. Wow, sweet. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we've signed him. Let's see what other positions we want. So we've got that young goalkeeper now. Who else have we got? Um, they're all really expensive. Saliba's on loan. I'm just looking here. Those are defenders. Do we want another defender? We've got plenty of centre backs. Um, what about we need? Probably want a striker, right? We probably want a young backup striker, and then we can loan out Davis. So let's just have a quick look here. Um, how about we try and sign Callum Hudson at Doy from Chelsea? Let's see what we can get for him and see if we can do a little bit of trickery here. A doy. Ah, uh, well. Let's go with Hudson first then, Beans. Here we go. Okay, so. He's worth um, 7 million. Let's see. Uh, approach to buy. Here we go. So we know he's going to be a real hot prospect. He's going to be a really good player. So we know he's worth seven million currently. He'll be worth a hell of a lot more. Let's have a look. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, offer a transfer fee. Let's go for ten million because we know Chelsea aren't going to. He's going to be a fantastic player, trust me. It's going to be worth it. I think that's a fair offer. We're happy with the terms. We'll get the pay. Shit. Wow. Okay. Negotiate. He's going to want a lot of money. That's amazing. Because he's going to be worth upwards of 40 million within a few years. I guarantee it. Okay. So we're going to give him an important role. Should we give him an important role or rotation? He's only 18. Let's see if we can get a rotation. Great. Sweet. Yep, yeah, okay, five years. Sweet, accept. Disregard a release clause. And finances. Okay, let's again. Start with 10 grand a week. And. Let's see if he'll. Had a bonus. Appearances. Uh. Goals. Let's go with 15 goals. We'll give him 200 grand. Let's see if he'll accept that. Oh no! Oh no! I fucked up big time. Good. Okay, good to know. Is my stream working okay for you guys? I'm not sure if I'm lagging. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at which other players we can have a look at. Am I dropping frames? I'm not dropping frames. Is it still working? I'm not even sure. Let me try and refresh my feed. Here, see if that's working. Okay, let's try somebody else. We'll go back in for him. Don't worry. Um, De La Vega, right winger. 3.2 million. Okay. Yeah, you're running smooth. Sweet, it must have just been a bit of lag from my side. Okay, let's do another quick search here. I know there's uh, somebody else we can... I think his name was Della Vega, did I see right? Della... 
Vega? No, I've spelled it wrong. Good, good to know. And it's about D La Vega. Okay, good. It didn't add the spaces that I wanted. Um, let's see if this works. Vega. We need De La Pedro De La Vega. Who's he play for? De La Vega. Lanus. That's the one. 18 years of age. Okay. He's worth 3.2 million. And he's going to be another hot prospect. So let's go in on him. Um, approach to buy. This player has a release clause. Do you want to pay 7 million? Yeah, let's pay it. Okay, uh, negotiate. Okay, let's offer him. Let's not insult him. He's 18 years of age. He's playing in a shit country, though. He's playing in Argentina for a nobody team. We're going to offer him 15 grand off the bat. Okay, so sporadic, I'll accept. Okay, how many years? Um, let's give him a five-year contract, see what he wants. Sweet, okay. And disregard a release clause. And let's offer him 15 million plus, how much wages have we got? Plus, whoops. And signing bonus, edit, and let's go with 100 grand signing bonus. Please accept. Yes, get in. Okay, we signed another hot prospect. Okay, so good. Now we need a striker, striker, young striker. Let's see. Shall Phoenix is only worth that much? Good. Um, let me just see here. Rodrigo, uh, Rodrigo, sorry. Good, and J. David from Ghent, 7.5 million. Let's sign that young lad. J. David, worth 7.5 million. Okay. One last one, and then we'll get back into it. David, and he's at Ghent. J. David going to be him centre forward Gent is Canadian David is currently not be, he's got a 20 million pound release clause let's try and negotiate um, he's going to be good in the future is he worth 20 million approach to buy let's see let's see if they'll accept a 10 million offer I'm happy to go to 10 million Let's see if they are. About 10 million? Yeah. We won't let David go. We'll sign for 11.3. Okay, that's fine. I accept. That's a decent offer. Okay, and then we'll go show actions, delegate, start the wage offer at uh, 15 million. Don't go higher than 20. 15 million a week, good. 20,000 a week. Okay, we'll, ass we'll assign that. Okay, so now we just need to let the coach do his tingling. Let's have a look at who we sign then. Um, so we definitely signed a couple of players. So we've got Costa, who's a goalkeeper. Let's go and put him on the bench. And De La Vega, who's a 70 rated. Let's go and put him also on the bench. And what we like to do is, is we'll play these particular players when we play like cup matches or when they're tired, when the first team is tired. I like to rotate a lot. So, how many days have we got left? Here we go. Okay, uh, we did all those conversations. Did something happen in the transfer thing? Transfer hub. Okay, I don't know why I just quit that. Is it because I'm allowed to do a training? Nope. Loan offer for Cox, and we're going to loan him out, accept the offer. Ha! Huh. How much have they offered? Five million? Um, do we want to keep Hurahan? Yeah, let's reject it. We want Hurahan for now. That's fine. That's fine. We've uh, dealt with both of those. We've got one more day here. And we've got two office notifications. 
I've just been informed that Chelsea have received 9.3 million for Adoy. You may want to evaluate your offer. Shit. Ah. Okay, we need to... We want to buy Callum Hudson and Adoy desperately. Is our offer still off? No! God damn it. He's going to be a wicked player in the future. So is that still ongoing, that negotiation? It is. God, they take forever. I would have had him sign by now. Right, let's save it and we'll go into the next match. Oh, that ugly ass third kit. Oh well, we'll, we'll have it. And yeah, we'll let them play in that colour because it's eyebar. Do we want to... Um, let's see. Shall we give these new boys a run out, these new signings? Oh, mate, he's rapid. Let's, yeah, we'll put, we'll start Greedish on the bench. Let's put Engels as captain. Let's just quickly put Mings as captain. Is there anybody else who's a little bit tired? We probably should, we probably could rotate the squad a little bit here. No, I'm thinking, let's do that. Let's put uh, Callum, let's put Davis there. Okay, let's go. Start the second match here. I want aiming, by the way, I'm just having a drink. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Ah, there we go. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Let's Dixon. see how these and new we players that we've first uh, signed. We've got the goalkeeper in and we've got the right winger in. It's Ibar. Oh yeah, I need to edit Aston the um Yeah, both teams with one eye on those knockout stages now. Looking to get I need to make sure the I today, update the, the tactics well, let's not forget the before the match next time so that it's all okay. Can somebody remind me when I finish this match to update and save my tactics to have the wing backs overlapping? Because I'll do that in a second on the instructions tab. Here we go. Mate, this kit is so ugly. Here he goes, the new kid. The new kid. Oh, here he goes. Gilbert on the overlap. Back to the new kid. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, awful shot, John McGinn. De La Vega, never heard of him. Just uh, take a little tip off the uh, well, off the internet, a who's a good place to sign. I could probably scout them with my scouts, but I mean, what's the fun in that? Just take a risk, you know? Take a risk on a stranger who's probably not even played the game yet. Probably using FIFA 19's uh, predictions. Shit. Gilbert, man. He's doing the overlapping, though, I'm wondering... Oh shit. Come on, Louise. Oh, I'm look like I'm moving in. Fucking sand. Get into him. Uh oh, these are good. But yeah, be prepared. When I'm playing Premier League opposition, it's going to be a complete step up. I mean, ask Aston Villa in real life how they got on. They won every game. Well, they're undefeated in pre season. And they've won like one Premier League game so far. He's offside. No, you're not. Thank you guys for uh, coming and watching career well. mode. I don't think anybody would come, but I appreciate it. Oh, that's nice. That's not so nice. Well battled. Oh, got good agility. Oh, that's a rubbish ball. Oh, what defending. That'll do, we'll take that. Oh, no, I passed it back through the gap. We've definitely bought for the future with these. Uh, oh, that's a foul. With them couple of players we've just signed. I know they're rated only 70 right now, but in a season or two, you're probably going to be looking at 75s. And then in a, probably uh, three or four seasons, you're probably going to be looking at 
your, your 80s, your 85 rateds for them players. If they're playing, if they become first team players, that is, and I keep putting the training things on them to build their points up. Uh oh. Big Tyrone Means with a block. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Oh, here we go. That target. target uh oh, it. here we go. Trez. Trez. Oh, Shots god available. damn it. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It was from the initial. I didn't think I'd press the initial pass to Trez, and then I ended up hitting it again. Damn it. I haven't had so much possession this uh, game. Oh, that was humble. From myself, obviously. Awful. Come on, James. Get your head in the game. And let's join Alan McAdally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Schalke game. Alan? It's a goal for Schalke. 30 minutes played. 1 1. Alan oh, good tackle. Right Every time I get the ball, they're just uh, intercepting. They're playing well Enric. so far. Eyebar, Spanish side. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Need an overlap. Go on, Gilbert, on your bike. Oh, shit. Oh, new boy. Marvellous Nakamba. What a name. Wesley has it. The counter attack is on, options available. Here we go. Brings it in. Oh. Taking care of business defensively here. It's with Trezeguet. Marvellous Nakamba. Trezeguet. It's with Nakamba. McGinn. McGinn. It's there for him. Oh, what a save. Does this game play the same as the demo? Um, it plays very similar in Nibitar, yes. Plays very similar. But yeah, this isn't the demo gameplay, if that's what you're asking. But yeah, it plays, you know, pretty much identically the same, yeah. But yeah, this isn't the beta, this is the full game. You can get it on uh, PC since uh, yesterday. We got it early compared to console, from my understanding. Due to being on Origin uh, Premiere. We got it, I think, a week earlier than worldwide, worldwide release on console. Which is kind of bonkers, because console, I would say, is probably their biggest moneymaker. But, yeah. I'm pretty sure lots of people have uh, bought it on PC this year due to that and got it on Premiere as well. I need to get my act together here. Quick time. Oh, here we go. Matt Target, the left back. On the overlap. Here he goes. Big Wes. 1 0. Cool, calm, and collected. 1 on 1. Big Wes. Right on half time. We'll have a bit of that. Yes. That'll do. That will do. Okay. Do we want to make any subs at half time? Is any of the... Uh, Costa hasn't really had anything to do. De La Vega is... Uh, I've been running a lot. I'll leave him on until about the 60th and then rest him for sure. Uh, McGinn's looking good. Do we want to bring anybody else on? Give Keenan Davis a run out. Now, I'm probably going to loan him out if I'm being brutally honest. Once we've signed that young lad. Oh god, that was an awful pass from John McGinn. Back, get into him. Go on, De La Vega. Here we go. Burgos. Sergio Alvarez. No. -oh. Escalante with it. Oriana. Yulen Lopez. Uh oh. Fabian Oriana. Uh oh. Oh, they're in here. A highly purposeful attack. Foreign means the beast. Yes, we'll take the goal kick for sure. And the goal kick is the outcome. A story that has broken and one that has captured our attention. Paul Pogba is likely on his way oh. to Real Madrid. Oh shit. 
Well, 80 million pounds is oh, a good damn. price, isn't it? But they're getting a good player. I think that's a decent price. Here we is go. Is that going to be enough to prize him away from Manchester United? 2-0, Douglas Luiz, the holding midfield I bought from Manchester City for £50 million, 1-5 in the summer. Looked like a good player sometimes in pre-season um, and in, you know, the actual season in real life here for Villa. Oh dear, I've got away with it, I've got away with it. That's an awful pass. Oh, it's Not never pass it that far on the ground. We might have let him into the game here. Yeah. Well, Come on, Matty Target. Get out to him. Awful slight tackle. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to bring uh, Delevegra off. Because why not? And we'll throw on... Um, let's throw Almo on. And we'll go Hurra. Hurrahan for Nakamba because he's on a yellow. And we'll bring Davis on for Big Wes. Give Wes a little rest. I've made three subs, that's dangerous. Which difficulty are we playing at the moment? This is world class. I might change the difficulty uh, midway through the season if I start battering people. Like I said, it's going to get a lot harder when I'm playing against Premier League teams. I guarantee it because, you know, like I said earlier, um, most of the teams in pre-season are just kind of warming up. So you tend to find that they make the pre-season games easy so you can get used to the gameplay. Oh, that's good. Good. <clears throat> Too distracted there. Sorry, my bad. Good goal from them. First goal we've conceded in pre-season. Good. Got to make sure we solidify here. Get another goal. Don't let him back in. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Almo's getting a bit slow in his old age. Half an hour remaining then. Uh oh. Say this looks That's a good tackle. Good tackle indeed. In here goes Keenan. Oh, here goes Big John. The left footed player. Oh, no. No, 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 Big John, what a miss. Oh, I've missed by miles, it's not even close, holy shit. Wow. That was friggin' awful, man. Sorry about that, folks. That's a foul, shit. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. That could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. McGinn. Davis. Bodies forward and the break. King Davis forward. full of beans. And then for the real chance. Oh, man. What am I doing? Well, it was a wonderful break. I tried to score the screamer the top bins. That was god awful. Okay, good. Well, at least we're getting the chances. That's always a good sign. Oh, that was a good effort. That'll do. We'll take the throw. Do you know what? I haven't really ever done on FIFA is long throwings. So let's try that. That'll do. No, maybe not. Maybe it won't. Get into him. Get into him. Da 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 da. In possession to Kashi Inui. Uh oh. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Promising sequence. Send him wide. Oh no. Shit, my side going in that game. Oh wow, good. Oh, that was fine actually. Here's Hurahan. Spread. Oh, I'm offside. Leave. If you want to leave the ball, you pull both triggers, pushing the opposite direction to where the ball's travelling. Shit, keeper, keeper, keeper. Come on, youngster. Oh, that'll do. Definitely couldn't have switched on to him there. More. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, my controller, man. Sorry about this, folks.
let's get back over oh yeah there we go you put it on the eye bar side then I just couldn't keep the ball Keenan oh, Davis is kind of a battering ram a little bit possession. Oh, why has he left it? Nutter. Keeper, 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 keeper. Oh my god. That was lucky, man. What the hell is that? He's on fire. Two saves. Yeah, it wasn't even a save. It was just a collection. Super John. Here we go. He's left footed. Let's put it back. Oh man, that was for sure dropping there, I swear. Oh, <laughs> shit shot that was. Are we going to win this one? That's the question. Or are they going to pull it back for the draw? Thank you. Is that Lee Dixon, by the way? I swear it is. I didn't listen to the intros at the start. Oh, that's a cheeky ball. That's a cheeky ball. Oh, good defending. And a throw in it's going to be. Gilbert. Options in the centre. Tantalizing cross. Just needed a gamble from somebody. It's fine, we've got. Oh shit. Oh good, oh good, oh good. Cover the ball. Shit. Shit. They're going to score. That's a good save from the young goalkeeper. It's the first proper save that to me. Thank God. Shows the reason that we paid so much money for him. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Elmo. Oh, what a ball that was. Tara Mings, oh. Get around him, get around him. Nah, come on. Yes, we'll take that win. That was, a, that was a much more difficult game than the last one. They give me some issues. Thank God that the, uh, the young keeper... Right, I need to make sure I swap the instructions quickly. So, squad and instructions and we want join the attack and overlap and join the attack and overlap sweet okay we've got the team sorted now we probably do with uh, can we set up multiple I want to set up team sheets. There it is. So we've got team. That's going to be my favourite one. New team sheet. Um, we'll just call it second because literally then all you have to do is once you've built up your two teams, once you've got your two teams, then you just switch them up. Um, let's see what we've got here. We're going to have to find. Uh, we'll go with Callum O'Hare. Okay, why is Jot all the way down there, please? Okay, maybe we go with Jot out in there. Because he's actually pretty decent. And let's swap him for that. Put Hurrahan, whoops. Put Hurrahan left. He's left footed. Put him there. What are the centre mids have we got? Henry Lansbury, we wanted rid of him, right? Okay, Neil Taylor at left back. Elmo at right back. Chester at left centre back. Right centre back. What are the centre back? Consa. Haven't we got another centre back as well? Corny Horse. Just switching up. Oh, Costa would be the number one for the second team. So that would be. And then you'd go. Whoops. You'd go. Steer with Heaton. Suleiman with Minks. Keen Davis with Wesley. Grealish with Ramsey. Cox. Oh, he's going out on loan, right? Clark. Who else have we got that we haven't used? These are all of. Oh, Kalinich. We wouldn't use because we got Steer there. 
Douglas Louise with Tishibola. Okay, those those are all like secondary players. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that'd be the that'd be the number two team. And then would it copy over the instructions? I wonder. Join the attack and overlap. So it sweet. Okay, so we've got. Don't forget to change your attack. Yes, there we go. So that's team number one there. Team number two there. So it literally has got a rotation. So all we have to do is, is when we're in the menu, you select which squad number you want. Obviously, we're going to make additions and we can change this, but. Let's have a look. Uh, Cox's loan move rejected. Hold on. Let's do that. We ain't going to get a doy now. One year loan move. Okay. Talks Jordan Cox uh, broken down. Oh, cool. Okay, whatever. I wanted to get rid of him, but sure. Wait, we can do a training session now. Okay. So we only want the youngsters. So, Wesley. Let's go with the depth attacking scenarios. That's what he needs. Wingers. De La Vega and one on one bucket race. God, he's got good agility. Uh, midfielders uh, Douglas Luiz, depth attacking scenarios. Centre backs will go with. Oh, Engels is only 24. Let's go with Konza, depth defensive scenarios. And then have we got young full backs? Gilbert's. Yep, yep, yep. We need wing backs. I can't really afford let's go that and then that's all of them simulate all thank you for the reminder roadkill appreciate it there we go and that's another way you can improve your players uh, traits so we're top at the moment just wanted to scratch out you uh, as your agent keep an eye out looking ahead yeah so we've got international offers going to come in for us as a standardly age have shown interest in loan Jed Steer for one year on loan he's 26 should we loan him out to get some experience because we've got that other goalkeeper as a number two right accept that offer Neil Tain oh good and that's for We've got to answer standardly age, right? There's two offers, so no actions available. We'll accept that one. What is? The t I'm a bit confused. Okay, uh, we accepted both. Okay, let's see if this kid will go out on loan now. And we've got one more day here. Have we signed that player yet? Orlando City. Okay. Why would Orlando want him? Sure, I'll accept that as one as well. Let him decide. AC Milan have offered. Um, Milan is showing interest to purchase this player. They've offered 13 million for 13 million. Um, show actions. Negotiate. Okay, I want to go in for like, let's see if they'll go for like uh, 50 million. Oh look, I've gone to Milan. Bonkers. Propose a new transfer fee. Try 40 million. Let's add a salon clause as well, a 15%. That should be cheeky. Good, there we go. Go away then. None of those are waiting for responses, are they? Is he still negotiating? Get on with it already. Okay. We already dealt with that one, right? Okay, sweet. And we dealt with that one. Okay. Let's... Oh gosh, we need to save that quickly. And then we'll play the last of the group matches here. I think Mont and Gladbach are second. Oh my god, they're third. That's shocking. They've got a good team. Okay, so let's play this last one here of the uh, of the group. See, see now, like you can see my players are slightly tired. Treasure game again. So what we'll do is we'll rotate to the secondary squad. Just by flicking the right stick, and then we're good to go. Let's do it. This is gonna be the hardest test for sure.
don't get this, but sure. Squad games are weird, dude. Oh, we completed it already? Oh, good. There you go, then. Okay, here we go. Secondary squad playing against the best opponents we're going to face in this group. What is the direction thing that's popped up? The hell is that carried over from the skill game? What the hell's happened here? I'm not a fan of that. Some errors happening. Need to turn that off. Hold on. Trainer. Hide. I don't know why that came on. That was odd. We'll take the one in the lead though. I'm going to head out now. Um, need some sleep. See it's 5 in the morning for me. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by Roadkill. Appreciate it. And thank you for the host. Take care. Oh, how you get to another start. He's going to be very happy considering he was only getting told that he'd be a rotation player. Oh, let me just pause this, guys. I'm just getting a very quick phone call. Give me one moment. Hey guys, really sorry about that. It was just a quick phone call. Um, my car's in the garage right now, so it's just sorting that out. So let's continue. Sorry about that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thank you for sticking with me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, calm it down. That's not calming it down, James. That is making things a lot worse. Get it on the ground. And space for the cross. But yeah, you'll notice with me as we go through this career mode that I uh, I do like to rotate my squad a hell of a lot. Just to keep them as fit as possible. I know a lot of people just play their first team and let their stamina go right down and then try to flip in. Um, then just swap them out when they've got no stamina. But I literally like to have an A, a team and a B team. And then rotate them on a game by game basis if, if there isn't much um, time in between matches I rotate them on a match by match basis if there's enough gap then obviously the A team get more time but when you start getting further into the competitions and stuff and you're in more competitions um, you sort of need to rotate your squad to keep them fit here's Kodja looking like the Kodja of old unbelievable do you play career mode also? Yeah, this is career mode. Yeah. 
um, and we play clubs as well. Well, so. here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real game. Yeah, I play head-to-head -to -head online, play pro clubs. I don't play ultimate team. Um, I played it once, uh, like for one season, and it just you end up spending too much money. It's, you know, you have to buy fitness cards and cards to change people's positions, otherwise your chemistry's off. It's just ultimate team is a lot. You've got to commit a lot to, uh, to ultimate team. I said this was going to be our biggest challenge, and this is the earliest lead we've taken in any of the matches. Time to play is over. Zakaria. Real danger. Will he finish? The keeper making sure that there were no scraps to. The keeper's given it away inexcusably. Zakaria. Magnificent defending. And news of a goal in the Werder Bremen match. Let's hear about that goal from Adam McAnally. It's a goal for Werder Bremen. 20 minutes played. They're piling the pressure on now, the German team. Good effort. Oh, sorry, I misread that never time. Do you play player career mode? I have in the past. Um, I won't be this season because uh, the individual player progress that I like to do is in pro clubs. So, kind of uh, is the same principle by doing pro clubs, controlling that one pro. But it's online, obviously. Uh, is, which is great, great fun. And like I said, if you didn't see that, go check out the video on my channel after this stream and uh, watch the pro clubs that me and Justin did yesterday. Uh oh, they're going to score. Ooh, he's got a lot of that one. Here we go, here we go. Oh, Della Vega, come on, lad, get into him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Elmo, get out to him. At times they make passing look easy. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Oh dear. Well, he's given us away. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Ah, ball, that's a goal kick, that is. Damn it. Oh, it's a female ref. I think that's the first female ref in the male matches that I've seen, for sure. Oh, dear, what a save. That's two awesome saves he's made since signing in. What a save. Will you play Volta single player mode? Atarian, welcome. Yes, probably I'll play some Volta, definitely. Me and um, Razum are going to see if we can do clubs. Volta, that interests me for sure. It's always more fun when you're playing with friends. Ah, Jota, come on. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, he's offside. Praise the sweet baby Jesus. Okay, here we go. Spun him. Spun him. No, I released that with a flick pass. What the hell? I just didn't register for whatever reason. Because I had a shit ton of time to do it. Maybe I hit it too early. Oh, here we go on the spread. Oh, James. There we go. Send it. That was a pass. Jesus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's fine. All day. No threat. Here we go. Ooh, I that one. He continues his run on the ball, Zakaria. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. It looks nice and funny. Funny or fun? We focusing on him. He's making his and which, uh, which type of Volta? The three aside, the five aside, the rush mode, the normal mode. Which one do you uh, like the most? Here we go. Ah, nap cross. Uh-oh, go all the way back. There we go. 
the referee is going to add on three minutes. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Go on. Oh, yes, go on, go on, Della. Yes. Getting forward. Chops it. Oh, nah. Damn. Good off. 5v5 without the goalkeeper. I think that's rush, right? When there's no goalkeeper, you have no... I think it's called rush mode, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Everybody's looking good in their fitness. We're looking swapping it at about 60. As always, that's the rule, the hour mark. People start to get tired. Oh, what an effort. Oh, that's a rules pass. God damn it. Here we go, I've got that. Off the thigh. Wonderful play. Ah, Kodri again with a shit interception. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Taylor. A chance to whip it in. Oh, no, I thought that was right on his toe then. Uh-oh, uh he's done me. Villalba. Villalba, gosh. That was not easy to say. Damn. Again, Come with a quick throw. That's cheeky from them. That's cheeky from them. Keeper, keeper, keeper. Oh, nah. That's a good goal. Oh, shit defending. I could have, what the hell's he just done there? I tried to pass that backwards, not down there. That's our ball. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Oh. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa, and it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. That's fine. Lansbury. That's fine. Transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed. Oh, that's rubbish. Okay, we'll make some subs here. Let's see. Okay, Jota needs to come off. Let's throw on O'Hare. Let's go with O'Hare. And who else do we need? Um, is Callum O'Hare fast? He is. Um, I think I'm gonna go. With, I think I'm gonna give. Tishy Bowler will run out even if I'm getting rid of him. And who else? Should we go with Davis again? For De La Vega's rapid. Um They're both 6-2, let's do that. Sweet. Gladbach don't play a good season. I'm from Germany. Good. They're not playing well so far this season. To me. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Andreas Tostegen probably pronounced it completely wrong to a German person but that's how we pronounce it in English uh, who plays for Barcelona he was from Gladbach right and so was um, Eden Hazard's brother Thorgan Hazard he's just gone to Dortmund last season oh I should have scored there who do you support Atarian if I'm pronouncing it right if I'm not, if it's Atarian, I'm not sure. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's nice. Davis. The ball with go Keenan. Albazi here, skips inside. Oh, what a save. To Stegen is a beast. Yeah, he was... Uh, glad back, again. right? Before Barca, if I'm not mistaken. Because I remember I used to sign a lot on FIFA career mode, oddly. For cheap from glad back. Uh oh, uh oh. Stay inside, Keenan. 
No, man. Get in the bin. Shit. And a substitution in the offing. The ball with Kodjia. Kodjia? No, it's Kodja, mate. Kodjia. No, it's Kodja. Go on, I'll finish that, don't worry. <laughs> yes! There we go. Thank you. Thank you. A tearing that confirmation that he was indeed Little Sherman to glad that Is he Germany's number one now since Neuer's been pretty shitty for Munich recently? You didn't say who you support. Oh, there we go. Neuer is still number one in the national team. I didn't even see that. How funny that I was just saying about Neuer. I didn't even see your chat. Yeah, but um, I thought Neuer has been suffering with injuries and that he hasn't been best in like, the last two seasons or so. Oh, they're going to score again. Oh. Uh -oh. At least they didn't score then, that would have put a bit of pressure on me for sure. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's a well worked goal from me. Shit. That was rubbish from me there. Uh oh, here we go. Uh oh, here we go. They're in. They're in here. I can't let them equalise. Cost this fire. Oh, stop pronouncing his name wrong, you noob. Oh, Keenan, come on. Oh, fouled him. That was off the ball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Corner. Shit. I don't know what you called a man which got hurt so he can play it and Neuer has it for seven minutes. I don't know what you called a man which got hurt like he can't play it and Neuer has it for seven minutes. I'm confused, sorry. The delivery. Shit, I thought that was in there for sure. Oh, damn it. Come on, we've got to hold on for this perfect uh, perfect record. Go on, through that gap. Yes, here we go. Callum O'Hare. Yes, Kodja. No way. Patrick. Another fan of FC Bayern, good Munich. Okay. Well, here's the replay. You have to say it's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat trick. So the current scoreline four two. So Neuer is still number one for the national Another team because I thought Tustigan had been uh, had been playing more so for Germany recently. I might be mistaken. Maya, I don't follow Germany Tobias too much in the internationals, but I knew that Neuer had been getting injured Bent. a lot. Summit with his hand, if I'm not mistaken. The man's noise crazy, man. Anyway, he thinks he's bloody Franz Beckenbauer. He comes and plays a sweeper role middle of the game. God damn it. He just runs out from the back and all does, right? The ball's rolling through, the defender's got it covered. Look, noise like, nah. Not on my way. Why has he done it again? I pass that backwards. It's fine. Get your head in it. Oh, there we go. Yes. He'll take that victory. Oh, he gets the match ball. The female ref. Excellent. That's excellent. I'm glad to see that position. She did a good job. Okay. Good. We'll take that victory. 4-3. Sketchy conceding three goals.
Let's see how the assistant did with a friggin' transfer. As if he completed a hat trick. Tournament prize money, here we go. So your performance is, we give you 1.17 million. Fantastic. Do we get another? Okay, that's another friendly. Let's see. Loan offer for round agreement. One point. You can find the details in the folder. Oh god, I'll need to sign a young left back then. 1.6 million. Okay, sweet. Um, accept the offer to loan him. Okay, those are done. Is he still negotiating? Like, what? I'm not doing that again. He can get wrecked. I'm just going to do it myself. Okay, we also need to look for a young left back now, then. Just, yeah, Testine was number one because Neuer can't play. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let me just see what left young left backs we can go after. Um, Hakimi from route. No, he's too much. Uh. Just having a look. Restos from Leverkusen. 8.4 million. Um, I'm just thinking here. Nuno Tavares from Benfica. Let's have a look here. Nuno Tavares from Benfica. He's a natural left back. Um, he's worth three million. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, search players, Tavares. We want the left back, Nuno Tavares, nineteen years of age, and shortlist and view and transfer hub. Nuno Tavares, yes, and he's worth three million. Approach to buy. It's because it's night, I think. After a transfer fee, three million. I feel like I've wasted my trip here. God damn. Okay. Um. Who else can we go for? Just having a quick look here, folks. Um, the lot. Restos. What about Saw? You can play left back. What about Lloyd Kelly? I think it's Lloyd Kelly from Bournemouth. Vagnoman from Hamburg, 900k. Goes up to an 84 rated. I'm going for Vagnoman. Let's do it. Let's go for Vagnoman. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Fuck, man. Uh, Vag. No. And there we go. Joshua Wagnerman left back from Hamburg. Okay, let's go after him. Approach to buy. What is it? 2.5 million? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. I need a left back. Uh, negotiate. Let's see. Sporadic. Okay, sweet. No release clause. Sweet. And 26,000. Sorry, I'm happy with that. Accept. Okay, good. Okay, so. 
let's get. Did we sign him already? I think we signed him. Okay, so if we go to that one and then if we drop Taylor out and put Vagnerman as the left back, because there we go. I know he's a lower rated, but he's going to grow into like a good player. So, did we sign anybody else yet? We didn't, did we? Let's get that freaking striker in, for God's sake. Oh, Cox has rejected another lone one. Oh, he's gone to KV Mechelen. Okay, Steer's gone to Liege. He broke down with Orlando. Okay, so let's save it. And let me just check here. Look for Kai Havertz. Yeah, he's a beast. He's just like way out of my price range currently. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I want to thank you all very much for joining me. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.